In this lecture, we will discuss the meaning of demand and the difference between demand and quantity demanded. What is demand? I have heard people saying that if you want to buy a good, then you have a demand for that good. If you also think the same, then I must tell you that there is more to it. Demand is not only what you want to buy, it is also about your ability to buy. For example, Suppose you want to buy a Mercedes, but you cannot afford it. Can we say that you have a demand for Mercedes? No, it's not demand. It's only wishful thinking. Also, the demand does not emerge if you have enough money to buy a Mercedes, but you are not willing to. So we can say demand for a good is the quantity of that good that you are willing and able to buy. Let's now understand the difference between demand and quantity demanded. Price plays a major role in deciding how much of a good we will buy. For example, say if price of an ice cream scoop is $5, you consume 2 scoops a day. It is likely when the price of scoop rises to $10, you might reduce your consumption to 1 scoop per day. And if the price of the scoop falls to $1, you might increase your consumption to 3 scoops per day. Here comes the distinction between quantity demanded and demand. Quantity demanded is the specific amount of quantity that you will purchase at a specific price of the good. So when price of a scoop is $5, your quantity demanded is 2. When price of a scoop rises to $10, it is your quantity demanded that changes. It decreases to 1. On the other hand, demand is the entire relation that you see here between price and quantity demanded. It refers to different possible quantities of a commodity that you are ready to buy at different possible prices of that commodity. The demand changes when this relation between price and quantity demanded changes. There are many determinants that affect the relation between price and quantity demanded. For example, income. What would happen to your demand for ice cream if you lose your job? It would decrease, right? Even if the price remains at $5 per scoop, you might reduce your consumption to one scoop or maybe you will switch to no ice cream at all. Like income, there are some other determinants as well which affects the relation between price and quantity demanded. We will talk about these determinants in the upcoming lectures.